Well, good afternoon, everybody, and uh, and I'm in the small greenhouse again, and uh, I'll take this opportunity to wish everybody a very happy Christmas, and because uh, it's Christmas Day now, and uh, went out last night on Christmas Eve, went out with my lady friend Sheila, and we had uh, a Chinese banquet, and then I stayed at her house, and. Uh, she was up at quarter to eight preparing the meal and uh, by me I didn't get up till twenty five past twelve. Fast asleep. Lovely. Anyhow, apart from that, we're now in the uh, little greenhouse and oh, oh, I will just have a tour of that. Got some pictures here, which is a Vanda. Don't know the name of it. It's uh, Fuchsia's Delight, I think it's called. Let's have a look, there's a label up here somewhere. Fuchsia's Delight, across by Dr. Ank. Hmm. Nice colour, nice flower. So we'll have a look around, see what else there is. Uh, usual white uh, Phalaenopsis there. And this is, uh, let's have a look, nice orange coloured flower, the name is, oh, God. let me have a look, I'll have to get myself organised I think, Biffinaria area fulva, Biffinaria area fulva. Oh, she's got a lot of strange plants in here that uh, I've never heard of some of them. But uh, we'll, we'll see what we can do. What's this one on a mount? It's, uh, it's just growing a new one there. Looks like an Ascacendra. Uh, oh, this is one that she uh, particularly proud of. Very difficult. Not a lovely plant. Uh, Dendrobium Hancockii. And this one is absolutely full of buds. You can see them coming up. I think Roger had one of these and he was having trouble with getting one flower on. Well, this has been the same, Roger. This has only had one flower on, but uh, this year it's absolutely inundated with buds. Difficult to see, but they are there. Let's see if I can get a little bit nearer. Dendrobium Hancockii. Now this is one of those strange uh, Pleurothallis, I think they are, that grows its uh, flowers from the middle of the leaf and you can just see there, there's one starting. I think that's the biggest one up to now, but it's, it's happening on many, many leaves on this one. Strange one, there's another one there. They're all coming up. All flower from where they are there on that leaf stem, on the vein in the middle. Pleurus alice, that is. I'll see if I can find the, the correct name of it in a minute. Yeah, I found it. It's Pleurus alice immersa. Immersa. So, a very strange, lovely plant. But uh, I wonder what the flowers are like when they're coming out of the middle of the, uh, the leaf vein. Anyhow, we'll keep an eye on that one and uh, get some nice photographs of it when it's in flower. Schomburkii albo purpurea. And she said this is a beautiful flower and it grows and there's a lot of, uh, a lot of new growth on it. She said this is a beautiful flower, but uh, I don't know much about these, but... Uh, that's what this one is, Schomburkia purpurea, Albo purpurea. Now this is a Dendrobium siluasiense cross uh, Cupressonii. Dendrobium, very very nice. So we can get a nice look at the flowers on them. There they are, plenty more to come out there on top. I 
I must think about getting some of these myself and uh, having a change from slippers. They're a bit more challenging, I think, than uh, Phragmopediums, but uh, just as much challenging as uh, Asian slippers. This is the last flower of the uh, Dendrobium rosy dawn. Lovely, these have been all year. Nice big plant too. Another nice big plant there as well of the uh, rosy dawn. This will be full of uh, full of blooms next year. Absolutely gorgeous it's been. This is a mountain one, Shinorchis uh, Gomesa. Still in flower. Here's another one she's got, a Platystelli Misera. Loads and loads of uh, spikes on it, so uh, whether they flower or not, I've no idea. But it must have 20 or 30 spikes on this one. Platystelli Misera. Uh, this is a Fias uh, Colossus. Uh, this is coming into spikes. Four or five on, there's one there. Another one there. Another one coming up there. So uh, this is going to be nice. Fias a Colossus, a big plant. Must be two foot tall and a good two foot wide in width. Fias Colossus. And I have no idea what she has in here. It's quite a big tub with some little green things on top. I just don't know what that is. No idea. There's another Aska Centra there that's coming up with a few uh, a few spikes on it. This is another plant that's doing very well, the Trichoglossus uh, rosea. Beautiful. This is just coming into, uh, <coughs> well, just starting to develop the uh, the blooms on them. Very difficult to see, but they're there. Tiny little things and tiny little nubbins. But uh, it's a beautiful, beautiful plant, this. Very healthy. Plenty of growth on it. I'll move over to this next one, which I've no idea what it is. I can't see a label anywhere, but it's another big plant. And then next to it is a uh, Chysis, Chysis, can't read the label, there it is but it's a bit upside down, I'll just take it off the, uh, off the hook and turn it around to show you the size of the pseudobulbs on it, wow, that must be a good two feet long, Chysis Bracky something. Uh, sorry about this. It's just that the wrong handle for me to have a look at it. Well, that's doing very nicely. This is another one that's coming up into uh, into spike. Which is uh, heart money eye. Uh, I think that's what it is. 
it's not a Shinoikis, it's a... Uh, oh dear dear. What am I getting like? Terrible. Psychokillus. Psychokillus Heitmanii, an Australian plant. Absolutely lovely. Another one at the back coming up in spike, I don't know what that is. But very difficult to find the labels on them. Don't know what this is, this is another one. Not labelled, but plenty of uh, growth on it. Quite a big dendrochillum here. You can see all the sheaths in there from last year. All these papery things that want to uh, pull in off. Oh, well, there's plenty going on in here. So, uh, what's this plant here? No, no label again. Can't see a label on this one, but there's plenty of growths coming up by the side of it. Shooting out through the holes in the pot. And more down here. Well, I've just been back in the house, you know, as if I could uh, give her a lift with the vegetables and whatnot, but uh, she's let her little Senegal parrot out and that's flying around the room and uh, I don't like being in the house when that's uh, that's a bit wick. So, uh, mainly because it would generally settle on my shoulder and take a piece out of my neck. So, uh, I'm staying in the greenhouse till all's clear. A few mounted ones up here. Looks like this one's just finishing flowering. Yeah, and all the first prizes she's won with uh, uh, cultural awards and uh, best society. Rosette. Actually doing very, very well with them. I wish I could grow some like this. Well, I've got a f quite a few more pictures to show you, but as you know, I've got to keep this down to uh, 15 minutes. I think it's something to do with the, uh, the plain memories that I'm using. So we'll end this here. I'll just, uh, just have a look at these uh, uh, pair of discus and uh, thank you all for taking a look thanks to all my subscribers and uh, if you like just give me a thumbs up if you don't like give me a thumbs down so uh, thanks so very much and uh, until i see you next time bye